Okay, so um, what I'm going to take you through in this is uh, how to use exam screen for your foreign language GCSE um, speaking exams, the preparation time. Um, so I hadn't, to be honest, ever really thought of using exam screen for this, but um, one of my invigilators is very, very keen uh, and wanted us to work out um, how we could do it. So we sort of sat down and we think we've worked out a, a pretty decent um, method for this, actually. Um, so... Um, what we're going to do, I, I mean, obviously, every school is going to be slightly different in the way that they um, approach uh, their speaking exams, depending on the number of students that they've sort of got to get through, the number of examiners they've got. Our usual pattern is that we have quite a lot of students. So we generally have two examiners on a day um, and they're sort of working throughout the day. And we have students coming at various time intervals to do their preparation so we normally do sort of two students together uh, in uh, probably in a different language so um, I'm just going to put in two imaginary students here and I'm going to put their names in where I would normally put the title of an exam but I'm going to put what language they're doing as well so we're going to do Jay, Joe Bloggs and Jane Smith who are doing Spanish and French like that now we do uh, AQA the preparation time for that is 12 minutes I think it's the same for you for um for ad excel as well uh, obviously if the student has extra time you could add extra time through that function which would give them the extra three minutes or you know it, you could just add it on and make it a 15 minute um uh preparation time like that so uh, an ideal world um joe and jane have been given an appointment time of 10 45 uh, and they both turn up with plenty of time and we can start them both on time at 10.45 and you just do the basic exam screen thing of putting in a start time like that. Okay, um, and yeah, you start them at 10.45. But um, obviously uh, it's not, we don't live in an ideal world and sometimes, you know, one of them might get there on time or one of them might get there a bit late or might, both of them might be late, but at slightly different times. Um, so I'm going to show you what to do uh, if that you don't get the perfect scenario of them turning up at the same time. So if we go back into our edit mode, so if you get the sense that you're not going to start them together, what I would do is you can start the first student. So say Joe gets there at uh, 10.46, ready to start at 10.46. So you can put in 10.46 as the start time. You can save that there like that. And you can see that's generated a finish time of 10.58. Uh, and then let's say that then Jane turns up three minutes later, 10.49, you go back into edit mode and you use the alternative start time function again and you put in 10.49 for Jane like that, save it. And then you've got a different finish time there um, for Jane as well. So um, using that alternative start time uh, is a way that you can be sort of flexible um, because you often will need to be during these um, exams. It won't run perfectly. Your kids won't always turn up exactly when they're meant to. Um, there'll be kids who are nervous, um, who need a bit of cajoling, persuading. That will often knock your timings off, but exam screen can cope with it using the alternative start time function. Um, you can you can then use exam screen uh, throughout these, um, these tests as well. Um, so I hope you find that useful uh, and I hope it works out for you.